guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry, and I'm so excited. I finally get to bring you, fingers crossed, a video, tutorial video on how I use my big green egg from start to finish, from getting it ready, cleaning it, lighting it, charcoal, how much charcoal, all that stuff. And today we're gonna do more of a barbecue. So, and, and in another video, I will do a long smoke for you. But, and if there's anything else you wanna see on the egg, go ahead and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like barbecue and a big green egg cooking, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button right now so we can get started. And as always guys, the meat that we're using today, we're gonna just grill up a small little New York strip steak from Zacon Fresh. That link is down below, you can sign up for free. And um, I, I might do an ear of corn out there and we're gonna have that with the salad. So very simple. Mostly this is so you know how easy it is to use the big green egg. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all we're doing tonight. All right guys, let's go out and get started and I'll show you how to clean that thing out. It's super easy. It's a little windy though, so hopefully the audio is good because I, uh, I can't do anything about Mother Nature. All right. Okay, so the first thing I do is open the vent here. And, okay, so you've got a door cover and you have a screen. So when it's going, the screen is shut. And the door cover, you can regulate your heat. Um, my egg came with this tool and this, I can... finish that and then we'll bring you up top and I'll show you what I do next okay so now that I've got it cleaned out down there I go ahead and close my screen and I'm ready to get started and this winters over very well I've had this grow now three years so um, the only thing I do want to do is these here I'm gonna go look and see if, if I have some chalk paint I'm gonna chalk paint Go ahead and clean my grill grate, you know, with a wire brush. Pretty simple. We had um, turkey burgers on here, and I tried to videotape that, and I'm telling you, I've had the worst luck lately. So, um, it started pouring down rain. Those of you that follow me on Facebook um, got to see a little clip of that. I mean, it was torrential downpour, so there was no way to have a camera out here. I guess I could have propped the camera through the glass and you guys could watch me get drenched. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's how easy it is to clean the grate. And then I go ahead and hold on. This tool, uh, I get this grate off of here and set it out of my way. Okay. Now, I, because I just did a cook yesterday, I'm not gonna need any more a lump charcoal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to prop you so you can see inside the egg and see what's going on. I mean, that's the easiest way for you to visualize what's happening. I also cleaned the daisy wheel yesterday and it, you know, reseasoned it, but it's cast iron. It gets gunked up with um, smoke. And so it doesn't want to turn easily and the wheel doesn't want to turn and I just was over it so how you clean that is soak it in vinegar overnight get yourself a wire brush and get that stuff off of there or you know it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna build back up but that's how I did that and again I tried to do a video not happening <laughs> okay so as you can see down in here I've got I mean I've got a fair amount of lump charcoal in here big big pieces so I don't need more but you're gonna take this tool here and it's a multi-purpose tool and you're gonna take and I just take it like I'm stirring a pot of stew and you can do this before you clean it out so um, 
you're just allowing the ash to fall through your grates down at the bottom and that's how easy that is so normally I would do that first then clean it out but I did it backwards so then I used these and I'm glad I have these are the last two I have these are little starter um, cubes or starter blocks and I just strategically place them down here in it, tuck it in and light those up and then they light slowly light my coals so that's how easy that is let's get you a, a really good view of that and see that yeah there's the look down in there okay so now we're gonna get that started Okay, so now my temperature gauge right here says 310 and climbing. It's already up to 315 or 320. Yeah, about 320. So right about now is when I put my daisy wheel on. And there's some lettering here along here. It says big green egg. I put the big towards me. And what happens, and I'm going to open this all the way and the flywheel open as well so plenty of heat and that's hot coming out of there it's still rising we're at 325 already um, if you put this like that even if you've got this closed it won't open on you okay it stays in that position if you have this in a different position it's gonna slide open every time you open your grill but rule of thumb is if you're peeking you're not cooking <laughs> okay so we're going to let this finish up. I wanted to get it to 400 and then I'm going to throw my steak on real quick and we're going to have a really hot, nice sear and a couple minutes on each side and then let it cool down to put it on our salad. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Now that I've got a fair amount of uh, coal started here, I'm going to go ahead and shut the top of the egg and see what temperature I can get it to. I'm going to get it pretty hot, so it might take a few minutes, but for you guys, go have a beer. Okay guys, so now we're up at 450, <laughs> like in a matter of minutes. I went in the house, got an ear of corn, and we're ready to go. She's hot, but that's what I want. I want a hot sear. I'm going to put my ear of corn down, and I'm just going to cut that off into our salad. And I've got my seasoned steak. Woo, and that's as easy as it gets. wheel a little bit and because it's already hot that's cast iron if you want to really shut her down a little you can um, close your vent down at the bottom I'm gonna keep an eye on it because this is only gonna be on here a couple of minutes per side and maybe three minutes per side and we're done we want medium rare yay okay that's as easy as it is and then when you're done, these bottom vents, you shut the door and everything, you close off. Actually, I take the daisy wheel off, put your ceramic lid back on, and you're good to go. It will snuff your coals out, and everything is done. And so, if this helped you, I hope that you leave a comment in the comment section to let me know if there's something else I can help you with. And um, I'll show you an end shot, maybe a little end clip of our meal tonight. And um, as always, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe that hopefully will inspire you to cook wholesome, hearty, homemade meals for your family and your friends. All right. Bye. Okay, so here's the end result. There's our steak all sliced up. This is Michael's salad. I did some quick pickles over here with cucumber, onion, vinegar, water, and pepper and half an avocado, that ear of corn that I roasted, and the fresh greens out of the garden, fresh radishes out of the garden, and this is too, with the balsamic dressing on the side. Yum. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time.